Hello, in this video we will discuss what is software defined networks and how it is different from traditional networks. So guys, to make you understand the meaning of SDN, let's start with few basic terms like data plane, control plane and management plane. So what is data plane? Data plane means traffic generated by the user for the user or for the server. If I talk about control plane, control plane means traffic generated by the device and to the device. And if I talk about management, management plane, it means traffic generated by the user for the device. So let me give you an example. For example, this is your end user. You have a switch. This is your router R1. You have one more router R2. And here also you have a switch and this is your server. So I can assume the networks as 10.1.1.0.24, giving this user IP 10.1.1.1, giving the server IP 20.1.1.1 and network will be 20.1.1.0.24. Now, if I talk about control plane, control plane means traffic generated by the box and to the box. For example, to make this communication possible, I can run here a dynamic routing protocol like EIGRP OSPA. So what routers will do? They will exchange hellos, they will form neighborship, they will achieve adjacency, after that they will exchange updates, they will form their routing table. So. It can be any protocol, for example, EIGRP. So, EIGRP is actually a control plane protocol which is used to build a routing table. Once routing table is built, now these users can communicate with the server. So, when user is communicating with the server, this particular traffic, for example, this is my HTTP server. So, HTTP is basically your data plane and EIGRP in this case is your control plane. So, control plane traffic is used to build forwarding tables for data plane traffic. At last, we have management plane. So, management plane can be, let's say this is admin. So, if admin want to manage any device, any router, so he can either use telnet or SSH, both of these are remote access methods. So he can use one of these protocols to take access of the routers or switches which are existing in the network. So telnet and SSH are basically management plane protocols. So guys, if we can see. If we can see traditional networks, like these are three routers, right? So I call this basically distributed control plane. Distributed control plane means, let's say you have three routers. On those three routers, you are running any routing protocol. So every router has its own control plane. Every router is running its own EIGRP or OSPF process. It means, for example, we have three routers. So I will manage the device with, G, with the help of CLI or GUI, it's my wish. Now the next thing that we have to focus here is, for example, we are running the protocol OSPF. So router has to exchange hellos on their own. Then routers, ha routers has to exchange the database. After exchanging the database, router will build their routing table. It means control plane and data plane both reside in the same device. So if I talk about traditional networks, in traditional networks control plane and data plane reside inside the same device. And we also call it distributed control plane. It means that every device has its own control plane. So guys, 
if I ask you, why we come up with the concept of router or why we come up with the process, uh, concept of switch? Now, why I am including here switches? I can give you an example related to switches also. For example, you have three switches, switch 1, switch 2, switch 3. They are connected like this. Here I have a user, here I have a server. Now, we know before passing data, switch will be running a protocol at the back end to prevent a loop. So, that protocol is spanning tree. So, every switch has its own spanning tree. So, you can see here also, every switch has its own control plane. It means control plane is distributed in traditional networks. So, if this user want to communicate with the server, first of all switches will exchange BPDUs. After exchanging BPDUs, they will form a loop free path and after that, this user is able to communicate with the server. So, whether they are routers or they are switches, they have their own control plane. Guys, now my question is why we come up with these routers and switches? Because we want them to forward the frame. Or you can say if I talk about a router, I want router to forward a packet. But the thing here is these devices are busy in doing their control plane activities. So, as per SDN, what we will do? We will take this control plane logic out of the box. We will not go anymore with distributed control plane logic. What we will do? We will build a controller. A controller can be present anywhere in the network. Just IP reachability is required. Let me show you. So, this is basically my controller. So, you can say this is, this is heart of SDN. For example, these are my switches. So, all control plane will exist inside the controller. Devices will just forward data plane traffic. So, you can, you can simply say, we took brain out of these devices. Now, control plane is centralized. And control plane is centralized on a device called controller. So, from controller, I will be able to push everything on these devices. For example, these are switches. I will be telling them which ports will be in forwarding state, which port will be blocked, which path you have to use for which particular type of traffic. If they are routers, I will be forwarding routing table to the router so that they can exchange traffic. Routers or switches will no more have any control plane functions in them. So, as per SDN or you can say according to SDN, what we are doing, we are centralizing control plane into a device called controller. So guys, if I talk from Cisco's perspective, Cisco introduces SDN, first of all in data centers, Cisco call it ACI, then they launch SDN for enterprise networks and Cisco name it, name it SD Access. Cisco is the access solution in which they are using DNA as a controller and Cisco also implemented SDN for WAN solutions. Cisco name it SD-WAN and uh, they are using V controllers for the same. So, we have V smart, V manage all that stuff under SD-WAN. So, in this video basically I want to tell you what is SDN and how it is different from traditional networks. Thank you.